Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a running scheme for you today. Since the uh, latest patch, the stretch plays, QB draws are kind of dead. So I'm showing you this in gameplay. This is a new uh, series of run plays that I've been using quite a bit. I find them really hard to stop if you use them correctly, uh, as well as being very explosive runs. Uh, and like I said, I'm showing it in gameplay based off of the fact that um, the patch specifically said that it was only in gameplay that these changes were made. So if you're still running stretch plays uh, in offline, uh, maybe CFM, I'm not really sure. But, um, you know, regular game mode, the stretch play still works really well. But either way, that's why I have to show it in this mode. So before I get into the video, though, like I always ask you guys, if you do me a little bit of a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button, like, shares, comments, all that stuff really helps on my video. So if you want to show support to my channel, please show support that way. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. Now, the formation that I'm going to use in the playbook that I'm going to use is the I-form wing out of the Packers playbook. Now, this isn't even the best I-form wing in the game. In my opinion, the bet one of the better I-form wings might be the Bengals, which is an underknown, uh, lesser-known playbook. I love the Bengals playbook. I might start using that quite a bit more based off of the fact that it has a few more run plays than this particular uh, playbook has. But I love the Packers playbook because it's a great passing playbook. It also has a lot of really great run plays, which I'm going to show you today. I have another formation I'd like to show out of the single back, uh, which I'll make a video of probably later in the week. Uh, but ultimately, this is uh, this is what I'm looking at here. This is the uh, this is the play that they pretty much killed the stretch alert X looky. I don't even look that plays way anymore. I'm basically going to remove that. I'm going to replace it with the ISO, which is already in the formation settings. Uh, the ISO is probably going to be the second most used play in this formation for me, uh, and then the first most used play, without a doubt, is going to be the power G. This is a play that was super dominant a couple years ago. It nerfed the hell out of it back then. It's pretty fitting, by the way. It says replace stretch alert because it's really, like I said, I think this is going to replace stretch plays. Uh, and it's really simple, the reason that this play works. There's one more play I'm going to put in this formation, though, and that's the halfback toss. Uh, that's something the toss plays, I really feel, are having more success. Plays with pulling guards now really feel like they're the way to go. Uh, and that's a little bit of foreshadowing on for my next series as well because, like I said, I have some really good plays uh, out, of, out, of, out of a single back formation that I'm going to use at all also require pulling guards so those are the three plays the fourth play if i had to put one in would probably be the fullback dive although that's another play that's super nerfed so on this first play here like i said i'm going to show you guys why this play works now pausing this really quick you can see they have two safeties a safety and corner i'm not really sure but these guys right here typically would come straight forward. Now there really seems to be an emphasis on them getting outside all the time. That's pretty much how you're going to see all defenses react. As you can see, they quickly take an angle to try to beat you to the edge and try to stop these outside run plays. It's not just stretch plays that I feel like were nerfed. I feel like all outside run plays, for the most part, get this reaction now. And you can see how they immediately made that shot to shoot to the outside. Well, what does that do? If the defense is constantly going to be shooting outside in these game modes, it's going to open up the center of the field, or at least the center direction that I'm running, because I'm still running to the outside. But you can see we're already creating a huge run lane right up the middle. Now, I should do a little bit of a better job cutting back here. As I run in my blocks a little bit, and you can see, I mean, once I get through that garbage, though, there's just nothing but space out here, and I hit an explosive, you know, one-play touchdown run, which, like I said, this can be a very explosive uh, running system. Now, as far as a read goes, I mean, it's no different than uh, regular cover three, cover four. Stretch plays are typically really good against cover threes and cover fours. This is kind of the same way. If you have cornerbacks playing back, you're going to have the most success uh, when it comes to that. You can see, I mean, I can't run it right outside, though, like I did stretch plays. You still have to kind of wait for uh, these defensive players to react and go outside. And then you can see they just shoot outside again and for no reason whatsoever other than that's the way it's designed to do now. And you can see we have a huge lane. Now, here, my blocker just totally whiffed. Uh, uh, on this linebacker it would have sprung me for another touchdown but you're going to see it's pretty consistent so here's another look like i said the cornerback's back about eight yards it's probably like a cover four quarters or something like that and then sure enough we're going to have that exact same look they, they race outside which is typical of what they do now i think it's most specifically on this particular type of defense and it just leaves me a huge land right up the middle you're not always going to hit home runs but you can see how explosive this is going to be now one of the best counters in this particular playbook um, especially if they're coming out like cover twos and stuff like that is going to be um, the second run play which is the ISO now the ISO run play 
I'm going to be looking for two things. Like I said, if there's a cornerback down in the box on that side, typically it's best to switch it. Uh, but the other thing is if I have a gap right here, I'm typically going to be looking for this type of gap because that's really going to be the easiest hole to hit. It leads right in that direction. Although you can take this run outside quite a bit. But like I said, this is going to be best when your opponent starts shifting to take away the power G or start shooting like right there. He shot right for that gap, thinking that's where the play is going to run. You're just going to switch over to the ISO and flip it. It's really that simple. Uh, and then your ISO is going to be your second best play. Now, I mean, I wish I had, like, the, once again, like I said, the Bengals have a stretch play that you can actually flip. That's a little bit better. But like I said, I didn't use that in Weekend League. I used the Bengals playbook. I used the Packers playbook. This was the system that I was running, and it was ultimately very effective. So once again, we got a cornerback down the box on the right side. That's going to be one of the better ways to slow down this run or at least congest the power G, uh, which is no different than what I said in the original video. I said in the original video when I complained about how they got rid of the stretch play, cover twos are what stops outside runs. It has hasn't changed <laughs> it hasn't changed at all uh, but ultimately this is gonna be one of the better ways to counter it so you can see my opponent here he's, he's shifting to the other side when they do that you just take a weak side I was one tackle away from springing it to the house right there uh, but like I said it, the better the best version of that would definitely be out of the Bengals playbook so here's another play I also like to run the toss quite a bit and if there's no if it's like a, a man coverage or there's really nobody over on that side a lot of times the toss is gonna be one of the better ways to go the toss plays are a much more effective i feel like last year madden 20 the only way that toss plays were effective if you had pin and pull guru i don't think that's really the case anymore because i don't have pin and pull guru uh, but you can see on this particular play i have to cut it back inside just because once again they're still shooting to the outside that's typical of these type of defenses now they typically want to beat you to the edge uh, and this this one free guy here is going to do that he's going to basically just continue to try to keep that outside containment so i take it inside it's still a successful run um, like I said, the toss play is definitely third out of all these runs. This one here, though, like I said, this is a scenario we typically wouldn't want to run an outside run at all because there's a cornerback right on the edge there. Uh, but I'm going to go to that toss play. I'm going to go to that toss play one more time. And because a lot of these pulling uh, guards and stuff like that will help me get that edge. And you can see right here, they basically get caught up in the trash. And you still have a successful run. So the toss play is definitely one of the better uh, you know, change-up runs if you want to really get outside. Because the power G, even though it's an outside run, it's also uh, it's kind of an inside run. It's kind of something you run in between the tackles at the end of the day, just to an outside angle. Now, putting it all together, um, if you're running this in a series, like right here, my opponent here, he's spending a lot of time uh, trying to shift his linebackers shift his defense shift his defensive line um, to try to take away this power g i was doing this on purpose i was just running it over and over and over just to see um, i just need some gameplay footage for the ending of this video uh, and you can see i mean he's really over committing so you have to be aware of that and be willing to shift to this iso play as you can see it'll it can be just as consistent and, and uh, as good of a run but it's really, you just have to take what the defense gives you. On that last play, I shifted over to that ISO, and now he makes no real shifts. He only shifts his defensive line a little bit, but you can see he can't overcommit, and that opens up the next run. So you really, one way or the other, your opponent's going to be overcommitting to uh, one side or the next, trying to take away one of these runs to different angles, and the other one's always going to be open. You can see right here, he shifts again. I go with the ISO, get a nice explosive run right up the middle, and it's just, it's really hard to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more, more uh, videos like this, more run plays specifically, and more from the Packers because I have one more. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.